asset on a clean surface, in this case a salvage sheet, ensuring that the mask is disconnected. Fully extend waste harnesses and check their condition. Move to shoulder straps, fully extending and checking their condition. Check the anti-entanglement strap is in good order. Check hose lines are in good order. Now look for the set number on either side of the back plate and at the rear of the back plate. Also located on the face mask. In the logbook. And on the tally. Time to check ancillary equipment. Fully extend your personal line to the six meters by pressing the button. Retract the line to the 1.25 meter notch and press the button to restow. This is a training center set and does not have a torch. This is when a torch would be checked and making sure that it is in good order. Move to the face mask. Extend out the neck strap and the head harness, checking their condition. Look inside the mask, making particular note that the mushroom valves are in place. Fully extend the head harness. And fully extend neck harness. Checking for any dirt or residue around the mask and that the double lined rubber seal is in good order. Move to the lung demand valve. Check it is free from dirt and cracks. The reset button can be pressed and released by the supplementary air supply button. Check around that the rubber washer is in place and again free from dirt. There's no obstructions in the whistle and the anti-tamper clip is firmly in place. Check that the aerial is securely in place on the set. Move to the cylinder. Unzip the cylinder. Check the cylinder condition and make a note of the cylinder number. This will be recorded in the logbook in the comments section. Zip the cylinder cover back up and ensure the zip is in line with the valve and the cylinder is marked as full. Place the cylinder onto the back plate around the anti-entanglement straps. Press a small amount of pressure down onto the set which makes the attachment of the cylinder easier. The photoluminescent strip can now be seen on the cylinder and the cylinder strap is firmly in place. Press the reset button and hold and turn the set fully on. Observe the bodyguard. One cylinder is shown, 6.8 litres of water and an arrow pointing to the left requesting a leak test which we then press. Totally turn the cylinder fully off, an arrow is pointing to the right and we press the right hand button. The bodyguard will now undertake its leak test and a clock is showing along with 280 bar pressure. Pressure always rounded down to the nearest 10 bar. Check 
so the ease attachment and rubber cap is in good order and in place. Worthwhile having another check of the set, making sure that nothing's been missed and all in good order. Start to fill in the logbook. The date and the type of test being conducted. In this case, a D for daily check. set is now counting down and the bodyguard will display if the leak test has passed which in this case that symbol indicates that he has a checkered arrow with an open valve. Place the LDV over your hand, press the supplementary air supply and observe the bodyguard. Gently release the air through your hand, observing that the low pressure air whistle will activate between 80 and 70 bar audibly and visibly on the bodyguard. Repress the reset button and attach the mask. We're now going to do a leak test on the mask and ensure that it fits correctly. Fully turn the cylinder on always observing the bodyguard to check that this is one cylinder and observe the cylinder pressure. Put the head harness over your head loosely, get, get comfortable in position and secure the mask to your head. The bottom straps, middle straps and finally the top strap pulled briskly backwards. Breathe normally. Now press the supplementary air supply. Now I need to start turning the cylinder off. Constantly monitoring the bodyguard. Take a deep breath and fully turn the cylinder off. Once off, move the head up, down, side to side for eight seconds. No pressure has dropped from the bodyguard. Breathe down the residual air from the set until the mask sucks firmly onto the face and again head up, down, side to side, making sure the mask does not slip off the face and the seal is correct. Open all head strap harnesses fully. Now check the electrics on the set by taking out the key and tally and record information onto the tally of your roll, your name and cylinder pressure. We're waiting 30 seconds for the bodyguard to go into pre-alarm. Pre-alarm is activated. Shake the bodyguard and the alarm will stop. Now wait another 30 seconds for the alarm to go into pre-alarm again. But this time we're going to allow the bodyguard to go into full alarm. Pre-alarm sounds. Now full alarm. Insert the key back into the bodyguard to silence the alarm. Remove the 
key and tally and press the DSU yellow button in the centre of the bodyguard to activate alarm once again. Place the tally and key back into the bodyguard to silence. Now remove the key again and check telemetry on the set. Place the tally into one of the slots into the entry control board and wait for the green light to illuminate fully which shows telemetry from the board and check the bodyguard which confirms the link between the bodyguard and the PA set. Collect the tally and the general check is finished.